Looks like the trains are running on time in Brick Island. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. So this thing runs onto the whole city. We have it going through the Ninjago Chinatown section of the city. We called it the, I think we had a name for this side of the city, the deplorable section or something. But it goes around here underneath, comes back behind the Vesta turbine, and then to the other side there is a subway stop over there. Probably an outdoor subway stop would be a good idea on this side so people can actually get on this side of the city and then make their way to the other side of Brick Island. Took these wheels off of the old passenger train and this is the subway car. So what's perfect about this is I don't really need to have it, the cars they are so short, they don't need to really pivot like the older train, or it kind of wouldn't fit along some of this track. Although we'll show you the track running underneath the city in a little bit. But right now, I'm trying to get this back on here. Of course, now that I'm trying to show you, it's not going to work right, right? Because you're watching me, getting me all nervous or something. Why is this not going on? And it goes over here. It goes there. We get another one. So those two wheels went on. And this is the, this piece actually fits. There we go. So this is what it will look like with the little thing in the front here. And I think that would be pretty cool. I have like three or four of these cars where I can build them together and make a nice looking subway. This I think is gonna look awesome. And it's gonna run under the city. There are a few parts of the city where you'll see the train come out. Some in the back behind me over there. There's some on the right side, there'll be a subway station. Those are some of the areas of the city where the train's going to go underneath, as you can see, is really, really cool. Right now, it's going behind the turbine. This turbine is going to be modified a little bit in the ground area. It'll be a little bit of... The track actually might come up a little bit, too. As long as the track, the train can make it up the track, it'd be cool to have that part raised above the water and everything. Don't want it flooding and the track getting all you know, muddy and the train getting stuck and passengers getting stuck. So, But remember, that subway car is what will be moving through the city, not this high-speed passenger train. Somehow I gotta figure out how to make this have an engine inside one of the cars and push this entire subway train through the city. There will be four, four or five cars total if I build all of them. I bought enough pieces to build five. This was actually the set. Picked it up at Bricks and Minifigs in Mansfield. Thank you, Chris, for happening to have one when I mentioned building the subway. He had, he said, I have one of these sets on sale. I'm like, perfect. I'll get one because it was a reasonable price. And the other ones I bought the parts for. So it really cool. I'm excited about it and hopefully in a couple weeks I'll have it running through the city once I figure out how to power this thing. Don't forget, check us out on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and YouTube at Build From Bricks. Don't forget to subscribe and tune in for our monthly live streams on the third Thursday of each month. And that's a fun time. It's 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching. What have you built today? Could you speed it up? A little bit, yeah. Just don't speed it up! Right. What time is it? Hey Google, what time is it? 5.40. <laughs> Did you see it was faster?